So Jerry, I have to say it's a real honour to have you here at Chiswick. Um, you've seen my beautiful veggie garden out there. I'm very impressed. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? We work really closely with Peter Hatfield, the gardener, and, and the chef you know, decides what he wants to, to put in there. And whatever we are growing is on the menu. I'm a massive believer in, in farm to table or paddock to plate and sustainability, which I think is so important. How important do you think it is using seasonality and getting that produce from the farm to the restaurant as fast as we possibly can? If it was me, I, I would only allow that. I always think that the best food yeah. is the stuff that you pick today. And when I was a kid growing up, you only ever ate fruit and vegetables in season. Yeah, there course. was none of this sort of thing that exists today. I think that's really important too, and that's a great message that the Delicious Harvey Norman Produce Awards actually give, is that you, know, you, you should eat it in season. It just taste better. I agree 100%. So my head chef here, Taylor, who's an absolutely phenomenal chef, incredibly creative for a, for a young chef. Um, he's got this beautiful kingfish, some labna, and he's got some cauliflower on the menu. Today I'm making a seared kingfish dish. It has a little bit of labna mixed with pink pepper, some carrot oil made from fresh carrot tops, and pickled cauliflower. Flavour, texture, colour, you know, all of these things is just so enhanced when you have great produce. The characteristics of fresh fish, it's usually in a rigor mortar stage when it's fresh, i.e. it's just been killed. After that, when you fillet it, the skin's nice and tight. It's like rainbow colours and it smells like the ocean. My passion for fishing started when I was a kid. My grandfather was a manic fisherman, my father was a manic fisherman. And that love for, for fishing will not leave me. To do something that you love for work is, not many people can say they do that. I'm Luke Buckholz and I'm the owner of Nautical Wholesale Seafood. We believe in quality over quantity and getting our fish from the ocean to the plate as fast as possible. At the end of the day, all fishermen start with the same product. It's what you do with it once it's on board that's different. All our fish are humanely killed. The fish doesn't stress out in the ice box. There's no lactic acid build up, which increases the quality of the product. So normally, fish would be caught. It would take two to three days to get to the end consumer. Whereas we do things a little bit differently. We have direct line of contact with our chefs. We use social media. Because we do all our own delivering and packing, we can get our fish from the ocean to the plate within three hours. We believe in sustainably catching fish and looking after our waters. We want this to be here for our kids. We want this to be here forever. I've always believed that if you have a good product, people will find you and it'll sell itself. The passion is there and you know, that'll never change. So Jerry, why do Harvey Norman partner with the Delicious Produce Awards? Because we're educating people out there about food. Uh, we're educating people to, to do something we think will be a benefit to them. They'll actually feel better. It's great, great for the whole community. Yeah, I think the future of farming is in pretty good hands, you know. When we do the Delicious Harvey Norman Produce Awards and just seeing this young talent coming in that are really passionate about, about farming, um, you know, they're really proud of what they do. Do, do you feel as though that's, that's the, the way? Yeah, I do, because in times gone by, you see these big farms and people say, you have to have a, uh, a big farm. Mm. I like the idea of the hobby farm. Yeah. Mm. People taking their animals and food to market at mm. least once a week. Yep. And then all the people in the town can, well, participate. Yeah, yeah. And you have this fresh food, better food. Yeah. I just think it's wonderful. We know that if every farmer took up regenerative farming, we could reverse climate change. <laughs> That's a really sobering fact. I'm Marla and I farm here at the Pines with my husband, Kel. We are six generation dairy farmers, creating a range of artisan cheese, yogurt and gelato. We really honour that intergenerational knowledge that we've been able to keep and then integrate that with all the new things that we're learning as well. Our key area of interest is regenerative farming. So what we're trying to do is create systems where the health of the soil flows through into the health of the pasture, which creates healthy animals and then moves into the quality of the produce. 
So raising awareness and building generations of people who also love food and love the land is really important. We have opened a store in Kiama, the Pines Pantry, um, where people can come and buy direct from us. And we love being able to tell that story and build those really unique relationships with our customers. My hopes for the future here are that we can encourage more people to come on farm and actually learn with us so they can see that it is possible to remain financially viable in a smaller farming system and to offer more people quality food. Regenerative farming is the future of farming. There's a really beautiful future here in agriculture. When I opened the Pines Yogurt, it just it had this thick fat layer, the whey was sort of splitting and then you mix it all together and it emulsifies. It smells fresh and acidic, it's got this really mellow flavour to it. It was pretty perfect actually. Me personally, Jerry, the Delicious Harvey Norman Produce Awards are one of the most important things on our calendar. It promotes other people to do it, it promotes more farming and if it wasn't for the farmers and it wasn't for these producers, I wouldn't be the restaurateur I am, I wouldn't be the chef that I am because you're only as good as what you're using. What I'm finding with these smaller smaller farms though too is that they take so much pride in what they're doing that the quality of the product is so much better. And what this different generation is doing is they're getting you know, all this artisan and um, heirlooms and they're, they're bringing them back to life a lot more than I've ever seen before. Oh, the good thing is you go to the other guy's place and you say, my lettuce is better than your lettuce. <laughs> right? It's a competition. Mm. So it's a bit like my pig's better than your exactly, pig, yeah. right? And so you're running around the place trying to do a better job than the other guy and that just takes the standard way up. The vegetables taste better when they're organic and well grown because when you put them in your mouth, they snap, they have this crunch and then it bursts of flavour because they've struggled to grow because it's grown organic and the harder something struggles to grow within reason, uh, the more flavour that grabs because it grabs more nutrients from the earth. The idea is to get more farmers thinking alike. The better produce is organic produce, it's seasonal and it's also local. I'm David Allison, I run Sticks Farm which is a certified organic seasonal vegetable farm on the Hawkesbury River. We're also focusing on a lot of heirloom varieties and that's the sort of thing that is grabbing people's attention. So I originally started as a chef and as I grew in the industry I saw a real gap in the quality of vegetables. I tasted organic vegetables and there was a, an incredible difference. They have the best flavour, they have the best nutrient content, a lot more shelf life. I decided I wanted to become a farmer and a chef. We use innovative products like paper pots and seed tape. So you want to keep the soil structure, which is going to keep the organic matter in it and the nutrient, the plants are going to grow better. Because we concentrate on quality over quantity, our supply is basically only to the top restaurants in Sydney. We're picking on a Tuesday and it's on the menu on the Tuesday lunch. I worked with the chefs at creating a bit of a collective so that there was no vegetables left over. We take all of their organic matter and bring it back to the farm and we compost it out here. So when we're coming out here with a truck, it's full of compost material and it goes back full of veggies. I want everyone to get on the bandwagon. At the end of the day, we want to educate. We did farm tours. The excitement from people and seeing their face when they eat the carrots or the cauliflower roar out of the ground is incredible. Please. I have to say, Jerry, you know, I get so excited seeing produce like this. You know, it's really creative, it's innovative, it's young people, you know, getting really invested in it, and it just makes the restaurants better because we're using better produce. So, and it's those chefs that put all these dishes together, and it's innovative, and so you're you're giving them an experience. Mm. Right, Jerry, I think we should eat, mate. But cheers. Cheers. And here's to the future of farming. To the future of farm. Cheers, man.